I'm Sangli of Rappler.com here. Felicia Ortiz, who is running for uh, election in the uh, Board of Education here in Henderson, is it? It's Congressional District 3. Cong Congressional District 3. Uh, tell me about uh, what, what it is that compels you to uh, run for this post. Well, you know, I've been in Las Vegas for 15 years and I've done a lot of work in a nonprofit um, area, volunteering for various different nonprofits. And I felt like I just wasn't making a big enough impact. And luckily, because of my career, I have the time and the flexibility to be able to do more. And so I, I actually applied for the position um, early this year and was appointed in February. And now I'm running to keep the seat for the next four years. Mm -hmm. May I ask you, in your opinion, why is it important uh, for Americans to get out there and let their voices be heard? Gosh, this is a, one of our most important civic duties. Um, the votes help us determine what people's needs are. So the, the way that people vote really helps us understand what their needs and, and wants are for our country. And so it's so important that people get out there and make their voice heard. Mm -hmm. And uh, in your opinion, what are the, uh, the big issues uh, that you feel that people uh, will motivate people to get out to the polls? Um, I think it's, it's the things that affect them on a day-to-day -day basis. So jobs, the economy, um, things like education that affect their children and the people around them. Um, and more than anything, I think it's it's wanting a leader that's going to be a good leader for them. All right, great. And, and uh, do, you, do you have an endorsement? Um, I have lots of endorsements for my race. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've been endorsed by quite a few different organizations and um, the Metro Chamber, Latin Chamber, Peruvian Chamber, the um, a few unions, the Libertarian Party, um, the Veterans Council. So yeah, lots of support. I'm really blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, and how, how about um, um, for the presidential race? Who do you feel uh, is best suited? Um, well, you know, my lens is always on education, and I feel like um, Hillary Clinton would probably be the best suited to to continue the good work that started um, with moving the control of our educational system back down to the states and ensuring that there's enough funding so that there's equity in all of our schools and our kids are getting a well-rounded education. And uh, in your opinion, how would you, uh, if you are elected, how would you be able to deal if uh, the other side wins, Donald Trump? Um, well, either way. So whoever wins, we're going to work with them to make sure that, you know, education is still at the forefront because at the end of the day, education is the foundation for everyone um, to be successful in life, right? It really sets the foundation for everything we do in life. And so I am, it doesn't matter which party's in control, um, education should be a top priority for everyone.